Nope, time to start. So I got the intake off, it's fucking pain in the ass. And the reason it took so long is, where is it? So the bolt in the, that, in the middle of the intake plenum is a T40. And it's a pain in the ass because these, won't fit through the intake so you kind of have to rig up your own to get this shit out but yeah now I'm gonna pull the injectors let those soak I'm gonna set the gasket on and let that settle and that way I'm gonna start doing the shocks now and then the filter that filter's coming out so like I told you guys a bitch to get in and every time you push it in it bends so now, this thing's ready to go. It's like flimsy as shit. So that's gonna get replaced. Injectors, I'm gonna see how hard it is to remove them right now. I gotta release the gas pressure first. And then this is the EGR tube and that's exactly where it broke. So that's that flex part I was talking about, which the new one doesn't have, so pretty happy about that. But yeah, this is uh, my Saturday. Once I'm done with all this, I'm gonna let that set. I'm gonna let the injector soak, and then I'm gonna start doing the shocks. And then yeah, we should be on the trail tomorrow if I finish. If not, I'll probably finish tomorrow. No later than noon. That we still have time to go out and shoot or something. So yeah, well, let me get back to it. guys what's up so i'm almost done with the engine the fucking pain in the ass i don't know why it was so hard this time so i didn't film a lot i filmed a lot but i didn't really like go into detail because man it's just pissing me off today but yeah i'm almost done the throttle body spacer's in uh the new egr tube is in the new intake filter is in so yeah, I'm trying to connect all the sensors, reroute all the vacuum, and then uh, I can move on to the shocks. And then hopefully I can get all this shit done today, and then hopefully it starts, because I don't know. Every time I do a gasket, I always have a fucking leak and I have to redo it, so wish me luck. <laughs> 